Hello, this video is a specification for the Voicey email program. It's going to con contain a series of screen sequences that will demonstrate the most important aspects of the program. The first thing we're going to look at is the Voicey email reply sequence, which involves firstly, you're at the home screen, select the application, and then you go straight into the inbox with an unread message and then we're going to reply to that message. Besides the normal options, you have voicey reply and voicey reply all. Um, obviously, reply means just to the sender and reply all is to include the CCs and BCCs. So uh, let's, let's do a recording. Straight away, recording starts. This record button here is flashing red. This should be flashing every second or so, half second or whatever. And uh, it's a pause button so that you can actually pause your recording to continue, um, have little pauses in your recording. Um, the main button we'll use is the keep and send button. What this does here is stops the recording at that point and then sends the recording as an MP3 attachment uh, in the background. So that's the standard option for uh, sending a voice email. The others I'll explain later. So we're just going to do this, keep and send. What happened then is that the mp3 file is being attached to a, to a uh, email message that has default uh, reply text and in a short while uh, you'll hear the swoosh sound as the uh, the message is actually sent, but you can continue to uh, manage your emails as normal. What we're going to do now is look at the sent message. So we're back at the message. We're going to go back to the inbox. Here is your inbox, back to uh, your mailbox list, and here is the uh, sent mail folder. And here's the message that we just sent. Um, you'll notice that it has default uh, a default message that was sent uh, along with the attached mp3 it says please play the enclosed audio file to hear a personal message from Rick sent and this auto fills the time and the date and if we go down here here's the attachment the voicey message oh, hi there Rick I'm just getting back to you hey uh, I really appreciate you trying to make an effort for me and so uh, next time I'm in Sydney let's get together Okay, so that tells you what the message is like. When you finish that, you can go back to your message and uh, start managing your mail as normal. Next thing, we're going to have a look at the re record options that are available. Back here, um, keep and send is what we just looked at. It's where the MP3 is stopped, recording is stopped at this point, and then the message is sent in the background with the default text as a reply. Re-record means that the current recording is stopped and uh, recording restarts at the new point, the point at which you press this button. Edit message means that when you uh, want to stop recording, it goes straight to editing the default text that is in every message so you can modify the message that goes along with the um, attached uh, MP3 file. Oops. We'll just go back. And uh, save as draft means obviously that uh, the recording is stopped at the current point and the message gets saved as a draft for editing later and then sending subsequently being sent. Now I'd like to go through the sequence that explains what happens when you send a new email. Uh, you're back at your inbox as if you're just working through your email and you select a new, you want to send a new message. Instead of getting the normal default screen for to doing default uh, new uh, text entry for a new email, you get the option of, of choosing to do a new, e new voice email or a new text email. In this case, we'll select new voice email and you go back to the screens that we've previously been looked at, which where you can um, record the message and then keep and send. So now we're going to look at the way that the settings page has been modified to accommodate the voicey 
uh, capabilities. Uh, here is your settings uh, application, the mail section of your, of your settings, appli uh, settings application. Um, and down further down the list here of um, mail uh, options is underneath signature is voicey default text. And this is where you set what text is used as a default for replying or for sending new voicemails. So here you have um, the default subject text, which is uh, is the time and the uh, and the person's name, which obviously should be select co collected um, uh, as a global variable when the person first uh, sets up the application. And here's the default body text, which includes a little message for um, uh, for explanation of how to use the attached MP3 when when a new message or a reply to a message is sent. Thanks.